Tyler King and Evan Cook here at the Casman Center getting you set for game two of this best of five opening round playoff series between the Fort McMurray Oil Barons and the Sherwood Park Crusaders. Evan, game one, obviously not what the Barons were looking for, although it was a pretty narrow and tight game and easily could have gone either way. The difference in that game seemed to be that Sherwood Park was just able to capitalize on its scoring chances and it generated those chances from the blue line last night. Yeah, it sure did. And like you say, all three Sherwood Park goals from last night, uh, they came on point shots. So, uh, you remember the first one was a big blast uh, off the stick of Dane Phaneuf. He uh, factored into the second goal as well. A nice tip by Maltby in front. And then uh, that third goal as well, just a point shot through a screen that, that, that got through. So uh, you knew that uh, that was going to be a way that uh, the Crusaders were going to try and generate offense by sneaking those shots through. And they were successful last night. So obviously shot blocking and net front defense are going to be a big key for the Barons tonight. But on the offensive side, it's not like the Barons were stifled. I mean, that line of Trent Lofthouse, Jetlin Houcher, and Adam Durkee got right back to work as three forwards who can generate. Curtis Hunt mentioned he'd like to see, obviously, four lines starting to contribute, but the Barons certainly had their chances if they can just finish on some of them, especially, I think, wrist shots from the slot on which they had a few taken away by Zach Klassen. You might be talking about a different game tonight. Uh, I think you're right on that one. You know, the Barons had their opportunities uh, in front of Klassen. There were, uh, I mean, I can think back to, uh, you know, at least three opportunities last night where uh, a guy had the puck right at the top of the slot and just couldn't beat uh, Klassen, you know, in tight. And those are plays that we usually see, you know, uh, players and, and, and the Barons capitalize on. So uh, it, it's true that there were offensive good things to take away from, from last night. But, uh, you know, looking forward to tonight, you really uh, need to see those pucks uh, start to find the back of the net. Obviously, it's a best of five series, not a best of one. And you've got an opportunity for the Barons to rebound here. But considering how much of a homer series this has been, Evan, how much trouble the Barons have had scoring at the Sherwood Park Arena, this almost feels like a must-win game for the Oil Barons, even though it wouldn't be out of the realm of possibility for them to win two straight in Sherwood Park and win in a Game 5. Uh, you set yourself up a little uh, worse for the second round if you've got to stretch it that far. You know, the Barons can really reclaim momentum uh, heading into Sherwood Park if they can come away, particularly with a big win tonight, not necessarily just a one-goal one. Well, well, that's the scary thing is the momentum factor. And, you know, you do mention, obviously, best of five series, not over till it's over. Uh, but for the Crusaders, you know, if they're able to pick up a win tonight going home up 2-0, playing in a building that they've beaten this Barons team in three times already this season, uh, that would be a big confidence factor, big momentum swing for them. You know, for the Barons, if they can pick up a win here tonight, it's all tied up at, uh, at one game apiece. Of course, two of the next three games will be played in Sherwood Park, so there's that factor. You need to pick up a win there. But uh, Barons, yeah pretty close to uh, as much of a must-win game as they've had all season, to say the least. Finally, Evan, I mean, for a Thursday night, wasn't a bad crowd last night, considering the timing, and they really got into it. We had chants going throughout the night. The crowd made a lot of noise and really tried to will their team back into a game where they didn't hold a lead at any point. Tonight, because it's a Friday night, we're probably expecting a few more people, and if they can bring over the same level of energy, that's what the Oil Barons need and what historically they've been able to use uh, to really get the upper edge when it comes to playoff time. Yeah, it's absolutely true. You know, it's funny. You talk to so many ex-players and you say what do you remember about Fort McMurray I remember the crowds in the Casman Center getting on me when I came into town right so that crowd factor is certainly huge and and the crowd brought it last night uh, I'm excited to see what to the fans tonight might have up their sleeve to get loud and make some noise in this barn because once it gets rocking it comes a pretty tough place for a visiting team to play in no question about that we're hoping for a big crowd and a loud crowd tonight as it's game two between the Oil Barons and the Sherwood Park Crusaders puck drop scheduled for eight o'clock